Welcome back to Van and Ted's video. I'm playing Cisco and today's video. We're going to be continuing expanding our suburbs and also this historic district that we built in the last episode. So, um, this hotel here, we need more commercial floor. We also need some business and nature. Nature we won't really be able to get just because of where it's located, but business we can. I put in some offices that, and those will come in as we put in more residential, which I was originally going to try and put in a bunch of residential this episode, but kind of changed midway through the episode doing pretty much only commercial and also more tourism buildings with unique buildings. So, um, kind of suck for that. Next episode we'll definitely need to do some residential because the demand is getting crazy, especially for these commercial buildings over here. Because there's almost no residential out here in this part of the city, so pretty much all the workers are needing it imported from other parts of the city. Um, yeah. Um, but so, first start off by adding a commercial near our train line, and then I added in some tourist sites to bring in some more tourism to this area, and um, just to help out that hotel, and also just bring more people here in general. But uh, yeah, I also added in parking for everything. That was very important too. And then um, continued expanding outwards to eventually do another little shopping center. Then speaking about this shopping center, I placed down the um, large grocery store, I think it's called. Might be a medium one. I f or yeah, it's a large one, sorry. Um, so I placed that down. I was trying to get it in the corner of this um, highway exit road and also um, our little main road here. But I couldn't get that. And so eventually I just put it on the side of the road over on this side instead of the other side. Because it just was simply wasn't space, and I would have needed to move the train line too much. But so I put it over here, and I still did pretty much the same thing. I just did it with side roads instead of the main road. And um, then I also placed our department store across the street from it, and this will be our little shopping center here. I also added in parking for them, and then I also added in some more stuff around this whole area, just to help boost tourism and others and bring people in here, just because. This area is going to be mostly tourism, especially right here, but yeah, um, this is definitely a very odd route, road um, network right here. It very much differs from the grid, so I just put a parking deck in the center of it and finished off with some trees after I put in this big old parking lot here. And also, I did need to move around these roads quite a bit, because they were causing quite a bit of traffic problems. Like, I got rid of that one, and I also put in the... Um, I forget what it's called. I think it's the Japanese Station Shopping Center or something like that. Right here, but I, def I really like how they look. Just a tiny little thing that you can kind of throw anywhere and they look pretty nice. But I had combined with that and a bunch of parking. This whole area came together and um, used a mix of parking from both the main parking DLCs. And there's that building that I was just talking about and some more parking for it. In the last episode, I did say I wanted to put in the historic fire station, um, police station, and also library. So I just threw them in over here. Just some tiny little thing. Which we do actually have the historic library already placed down throughout in somewhere else in the city. But I just decided to place it down again. And we don't have the historic police and fire station anywhere in the city. So I just put them in here. I was putting in a bank because we haven't done one of those in this general area of the city. Anywhere near here. And there's a ton of commercial business here. So figured might as well do one. Excuse me. Um, it just makes sense. Now, so I added in a small little bit of parking here, which this bank, it was very hard to squeeze in here, but I eventually, ooh, my goodness, um, was able to squeeze into here on our little back roads here for our department store. And then I continued this road into the middle of the Y for our train line here for the cargo trains at least. Um, this Y, it's, like I said in the last episode, there's just too much space here to just leave it empty like I would normally if we were a bit 
um, further out of the city. I would just leave it blank and say the railroad owns the whole center of it. But because of how much space there is in the center here, I would say it would be um, have a whole bunch of development inside of it just because this is a pretty large area that the city and just people here wouldn't want to or afford to leave untouched. So they would have either bought it back from the railroad or the railroad would have never owned it. And that's kind of just for you, your own imagination, however you want to see it. But essentially, there's just too much space here for it to not have any development in it. So I just put in a ton of development and I decided to put all the Japanese um, buildings, the modern Japanese DLC from the content creator pack. I'll some stuff from the railroads pack um, in here. These will um, just bring in more tourism, which they did bring in a ton of tourism, but also just give a bit more of a unique little area compared to the rest of this whole side of the city from the rest. And it gives us a little Japanese town, or like a Chinatown, but basically the same thing. But pretty much give that, but I mean, it is a lot of office buildings, but it's fine. Definitely think it all came together in the end. Now I did finish up the little Japanese district. I um, put it in the last little bit, which is that little hotel. We do have one more big luxury hotel, but that for now, or actually I did find a spot for it, but that I found a little bit later on in the episode. I of course made sure while this is trying to be Japan, or Japanese, um, it's still America, so we do need parking in there. So I put in parking, obviously. And um, made sure everyone had parking. I also did need to do some traffic fixes like right now because of how bad the traffic was getting backed up from all of this traffic like that. And I did just make sure this area was a bit less bare by putting in this little sidewalk restaurant and some parking for it. And um, yeah, I added in trees. Um, got rid of abandoned buildings, put in some more commercial. Which some of that commercial I did replace with offices just to help meet our business needs in that hotel. Um, those offices haven't come in yet, but they'll come in after we get some more residential in and that demand goes up. Same with the abandoned buildings, they'll all go, start stopping to be abandoned um, as we get our residential up. But then I also added in a bridge instead of that railroad crossing, just to help deal with traffic demand here. Because there was tons of traffic crossing between the highway exit and our industrial area, which is, I mean there was a cut through here before. But it's quicker for them to do this because of how the AI is made. To where it just chooses the quickest route by length. And so they're all choosing to go by this way instead of the main routes, even though they would probably be quicker. But yeah, this is the luxury hotel I put that in. I also put in the temple. But um this luxury hotel will finish it off more so in the next episode. 
kind of just did some quick little touches to it by adding in the road and fixing off the terrain and yeah but um here is the final product i do hope you enjoyed if you have much like subscribe to see you next one bye